hello everyone welcome to solving solution on today's edition we are going to be treating surveying travels i mean travels in surveying and then um, first off i will welcome you guys to my channel where you can find solutions to your surveying problems in school and even on site so subscribe to the channel and then invite your friends to also do the same you can also turn your notifications on so that you won't have to miss any of our superb and excellent solution we are going to present to you subsequently on this channel so as i said earlier we are going to discuss about um travels in surveying so i will tell us what travels means you know it's a normal term in surveying where you yeah okay i'm going out to do traversing i'm going out to do traversing and all the rest of that so now let's consider this quadrilateral yeah let's say this is a plot of land a b c d you know if a client calls you to come and carry out the survey of this plot of land first off you need some set of controls and whatever it is conventionally if you're using maybe an optical instrument to the light or total station or any other instrument you can use definitely just to the light and to transition so you look for a set of controls and then you do your check and you carry out the traversing so what is traverse traverse is a series of connected lines a series of connected lines whose distance and bearing has been determined or can be determined now if you want to link it to something we already know in physics we can say a traverse is a what is a vector quantity because they told us that um, uh, we have scalar quantities and we have vector quantities. Scalar quantities have magnitude but no direction. Whereas vector quantities have what? Magnitude and direction. So if we want to liken it to any topic in physics, we can say traverse is a what? It's a vector quantity. So that's just the foundation. Now we say traverse is a series of connected lines whose distance and bearing has been determined or can be determined or can be determined now there are different competitions you can carry out in traversing i mean when we are in school you know you will have to do your back competition you do your included angle for your control check and you will even do your forward competition you distribute your errors and all the rest of the activities or let's say the computations you are going to carry out these are many more are what we are going to consider very very soon so i would advise us to get our writing materials very close to us get a calculator very close to you and then open your mind definitely the challenge you're having in school maybe in class the lecture period is short you couldn't get it definitely we are going to break everything into bits we should make it easier for you to understand so i'll see you guys in the next video where we are going to continue on what the traverse competition thank you very much for being a part of this video i'll encourage us to do what to like share and do what turn on the notifications thank you very much